should be an incredible matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. Time for our tale of the tape. It's the incomparable Roy Jones Jr. RJJ is 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 74 inches. And he'll be facing St. George. George Groves. It's Roy Jones Jr. He won world titles at four different weight classes, including the heavyweight championship of the world. St. George, George Groves. We've seen his fights with Carl Froch. He is always in there to hurt you. This London, England native looking to do damage today. This is going to be an intense stare off before the fight starts. And with that, let's go into the ring and the Hall of Fame announcer himself, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. The wait is over. All the right. speaking stop. The fight room. begins now. Let's get the answers. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Let's Many do. said this fight would never happen, and yet, here it is, and here we go. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. He just misses with that big right hand. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. Left counter scores. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. There's a counter shot. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six. The corner. Good round, I like. And there's the bell for round two. Nice exchange here from both men. Good counter punching. The perfect counter lands. Great counter right hand there. And he fails to score with that left hook. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. That left counter punch will score. This fight has a real good flow to it. Good counter punching for both these athletes. He misses with that jab. Can he finish the job? Oh, 
Can he get out of this predicament? And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Down or right. Nice counter. Nice counter punch. Lands with the right counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. That counter shot lands. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good counter left hand there. As bad. There's the bell for round three. It looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is right. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That left counter was perfectly timed. Nice counter shot. Good left counter that lands. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Catch and shoot. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice counter shot. And a counter left. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. They exchange punches. Neither man really defending themselves. George Groves, he's seeing stars. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Punch, counter punch. Well, he's got... Come on. And there's the bell to start round four. Out of the way, that right hook. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This fighter's certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Solid punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. Missed him with that uppercut. Right uppercut can't find a home. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. George Groves, he's seeing stars. What would you tell this guy? I love that. 
Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. You just gotta be smarter than him. You gotta be like a little fag in a pickpocket them. He threw the hook, didn't land. George Groves stumbling backwards. He's got to do something. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Neither man really defending themselves. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think... Seems like he's beginning to recover a little bit. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. And he closed the show. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Time out. Talk Man, about a He's gone. I'm this is the beginning of round six. <laughs> Left punch. <laughs> they threw the hook. It didn't land. <laughs> that one lands. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off, and they forget. You can bang too. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And he misses with that jab. Do you believe what we're seeing? That left scores. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we know they've got the advantage. Here we go, it's round seven. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. Both men step back for just a moment. We 
You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Now you've got two fights. George Groves, he's seeing stars. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Do you believe what we are seeing? Do you believe this? So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant yeah, round there. I like that round. Good round. Yeah. There's the bell to start round eight. Both men step back for just a moment. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Misses with that jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. George Groves, he's seeing stars. Look at him trying to fight his way out of this. He might just want to hold on and play some defense. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Hook misses. This round, and oh my word, down goes RJJ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.